right, got him. Did I catch you? Okay, wait, sorry, my phone isn't. Oh, whoa, there we go. What is with all these wild animals just coming into this room, my animal tarantula room, and just chilling on my tarantula enclosures? Yeah, I know there's nothing here, but let me show you. I came into this room to check on something, to check on, oh yeah, my unknown tarantula. I have not seen it in ages, like literally ages, and Look at that. I actually thought she was dead, but then after like two or three months, she is, yeah, there she goes. But yeah, I came in and then I was just looking around and then I got shocked when I came down here and saw something over there. Oh, that is a frog. Like you guys know, we've had a rat on my tarantula's enclosure. And then of course that snake that escaped and went on my tarantula's enclosure as well. But today, like it's in the middle of the night right now, as you can see, if it's not obvious already, hello, can you see me? I don't know, but it is about 2.30 AM. And yes, a lot of the tarantulas are actually out. Check that out, Nando Tripepi, and then hmm, Chaco Golden Knee. What's in here? My Maculato horn. There she is, very, very beautiful. Not fully out, but she's considered out. Why are these animals just coming into my room? Like these are all wild animals, okay guys? I do not plan these things. I have not planned to put that frog over there. And this is a tree frog. I have no idea how he came into this room because during the daytime, I have not seen that guy in this room, okay? I have not seen that frog before. So yeah, and then when I left this room before, I mean like earlier today, I closed the door, obviously, right? I would go out and then I would close the door and lock it. But then I came in and I was just looking around like, like how I usually do, usually nowadays, I don't sleep early. I usually come after midnight to check on the tarantulas because this is the time when all of them are actually out and about just chilling. So yeah, I look around and there was this freaking frog. I was looking at this and then I wanted to check on my, uh, my Balfouris down there. I went down and I saw that thing like right over there and that freaked me out. So, and the thing is, the thing is, I have no idea how am I going to catch that frog because I don't have a net or actually maybe I do make sure he doesn't see me. Okay, let's try to get this frog out of this room because the thing is, I don't have any food for that guy in this room. Whoa, you can actually see his eyes glow. Look at that. That is, <laughs> that is scary. Look at that. That is pretty scary if you'd ask me. But yeah, I don't have any wild food or like loose, like food running around loose. You know what frogs eat, right? Insects. And I don't have like insects running. What the heck was that? What the heck was, whoa. What was that? Oh, that's a gecko. Of course. Oh man, my heart. Yo, can you please get, what is, what is with animals and coming into this room? Seriously. Oh, okay. Chill, calm down, dude, calm down. And why is this on the, wait, no. Why is this here? Something has pushed it down. Okay, so the frog is still over there. And now I'm going to be looking for a net so I can get the frog out of here. Because like I mentioned, I don't have anything for him to eat over here, like running around the floor because the frog, it's definitely not going to go in my dubia bin when it's closed. And it's definitely not going to go in my Turkistan roach bin when it's closed as well. Forgot to latch this bin. So he's not going to go out by himself because he's going to find this place cozy and just chill in this place. So yeah that is pretty much what he's gonna do and he's probably not gonna have food in here no water so it's probably gonna starve and die in here and make my room stink yeah that is not my plan and i don't want that to happen so we are going to have to catch this guy and get him out of this room asap so i'm gonna look for my net excuse me why are you in my way okay let's go look for a net i'm gonna have to be quiet because I don't want my dog to start barking. You guys know Xena, yeah, she barks for absolutely anything, any movement, any sound. Oh yes, I actually do have a net, thank goodness. All right, let's go catch that frog. Hopefully he doesn't jump away. Excuse me? Okay, let's see if we are able to catch this frog because these guys, 
like I mentioned, they are tree frogs and they are very, very quick and they can jump super high. So yeah, let's do this. And I'm probably going to go from this side. Yes, thank goodness that this net is small enough so I can slot it in. And yo, he is definitely, he knows what's going on. So let's just put the net in here and catch him. All right, got him. Did I catch you? Okay, wait, sorry, my phone isn't. Oh, whoa, there we go. We got him, we got him, you guys, we got him. Yes, yes, okay. Now I have to find a way to, I don't know. Whoa, 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 he's going crazy. He's crazy. Yo, can you please? Oh, got him, yes. All right, there we go. Whew, okay, we caught this little guy, look at him. It's quite big. Oh my gosh. All right, now, oh, right, let's get this guy out and back into the garden, shall we? Let's get this opened. Okay, and how am I going to? I will hold him like this, that way he cannot escape. Yep, there we go. There he is, yes, no way of escape, haha. <laughs> yes, dude, this place, this room does not belong to you, man, so I guess we gotta go out. Ready? Let's go, man. It's it's yeah. This is not this is not the place for you to chill. This look at these. These are tarantulas. Can you see? Yep. These things will eat you. So no, you better see. Kilobrek is Swahili. They will eat you. Yeah. They will gladly see my OBT up there. Exactly. These things will gladly have you for dinner. So will you please not come back? Yeah. Have I scared you enough? Good. Let's go. Okay. Let's let this guy go near my pond so there is water for him if he wants to swim. Look at my giant gourami over there. Yo, that is... <laughs> and we've got some carp. Yep, the water is really nice and clean now. And then we have the pleco down there. Anyways, let's get this frog out of this net and yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay, froggo, I'm gonna put you here and can you please do me a favor? and not return to my room, okay? I'll put you here. You're lucky I'm letting you go near my house as well because you have been living in my house. So, a little dude, I will let you go over here. There he goes. And whoa, yep, into the plant. I have no idea where he went. All right, guys, so that will be it for today's video, man. Like, seriously, I wonder what other animal, what's the next animal I'm gonna find on my tarantula's enclosure? First, a rat, then a snake, and then a freaking frog, and not just any frog, a big tree frog. That's so weird. Like, why do they like this room so much when all these tarantulas would probably have them for dinner? Don't you guys think? Like, if you'd ask me, I wouldn't go live in a place where crocodiles are all around the place. No, 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 no. I will not do that. Whoa, this Balfouri is actually out. Oh, man, damn. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Just want to show you guys, I mean, this channel is all about my tarantula vlog, especially in this room. So, yeah, anything that happens, anything unusual, anything that is usual or whatever, I will film it and share it with you guys. It may not be professional, it may not be planned out, it may be spontaneous, but I will show it you guys. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and peace. Thank <laughs> you.